What's up guys, just doing a quick status update. Uh, removing the fuel pump from the XP9. Uh, so definitely the old style. I was a little concerned that maybe I ordered the wrong one. Um, you know, of course, stuff happens sometimes, but um, this is an indication. I don't know if that's factory or not, because look, that's definitely not factory. So somebody replaced this fuel pump at some point. Um, I just didn't know about it, but that's okay because it was getting ready to be, um, they replaced it every, uh, I think 10,000 miles if I remember right. So um, it was gonna be ready to be replaced or actually could have been way overdue for all I know. This may have been the initial service. Don't know, no clue, but all that's gonna get replaced. All right, doing a quick video of this fuel pump situation. All right, so here is the safety wire that was holding the fuel pressure regulator, this elbow on. Um, I gotta go look at the manual and see what's missing. Cause it looks like that'd be the problem right there. It's not on there very well. And then you got this freaking hose clamp holding this end of the fuel pressure regulator on. You know, what could be the situation that, uh, you know what, I think I have to replace the this, this assembly right here, all this, because the kit comes with two hoses, I think. There's one hose. There's the other hose right there. So I might, I might be okay with this part but it's this guy right here that's got me concerned and um i don't know i don't freaking know man how irritating how freaking irritating so i gotta get this thing worked out red goes on that side and gray goes on this side Whatever. And now when David Banner grows angry or outraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs. The creature is driven by rage. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Hey guys, what's up? Just um working on my Fuel pressure regulator assembly. This video is gonna be kind of a all over the place. Let me tell you something about the situation. This sucks, man. Um, so pulling out a, a Buell fuel pump is awful. Um, I will link some videos there for you to watch. It's um, the videos that you're gonna see make it look like it's easier than it is. It is not, dude, it sucks. It especially sucks when somebody does some oddball crap to your pump. Um, I got it all apart now, and I'm sorry I didn't film it, but it... So this thing had been in maintenance before. Um, this fuel filter is not the factory one because there were already worm clamps on the fuel line. And I, I think I figured out why um, my fuel pump was making extra noises. It's because this fuel, fuel line has a pinhole in it and the fuel pressure regulator um, assembly, this whole thing, was wire tied on to hold it down, meaning something's amiss. And um, I gotta go back to the manual and start looking at crap and try to figure this out. Um, needless to say, I'm not happy because it means that I potentially have to buy more parts. I don't know yet. We'll find out. But so I'll uh, I'll come back with more video once I have something substantive for you guys. And if you're hearing wind noise, I'm sorry. There's a fan behind me. It's pretty muggy right now. So um, and I'm extra hot because my fuel uh, my uh, fuel pressure my blood pressure is up. 
because it's irritating me. So anyways, this is the new uh, 65 PSI fuel pressure regulator. This is the 49 PSI stock pressure. Um, I could just slam this in here, but I'm going through all this trouble. Uh, we're getting this one going for sure. So this will be put in there. Looks like there's some definite discrepancies here, but we'll get that figured out. I'm going to take these fuel or these um, O-rings off of this and move them over to this guy. And um, these original ones are, they're actually still pliable um, and they're not, they're not compressed at all. They're actually, well, that one's a little rough. This one's very soft. So those should be reusable. Not going to reuse them. I can already see somebody getting ready to go crazy on the keyboard. So anyways, all right guys, um, we'll come back at another point and uh, see where I'm at. And like I said, uh, there, there are two videos that describe this basic whole process. So you're not gonna see anything new from me except frustration. Because <laughs> seriously, man. I mean, okay, let me just go on a rant for a second. So mules are really well engineered. And that is to say that they, they do a lot with very little and, and one component one of uh eric buell's mantras was you know one comp you know if you can get one component to do several things um then you've won an engineering battle right i'm not that's not an exact quote but it's something along those lines and i can appreciate that you know if you can get one piece to do several things yeah i mean why have like 80 different things on your, especially on a motorcycle but Sometimes engineers need to be kind of like checked a little bit, you know, and anyone who works on their own stuff or has been a professional mechanic, you know what I am talking about. So anyways, all right, that's it. Rant over. Um, I'm going to move on and we'll come back later. All right, I'm back real quick. Um, I kind of moved on a little bit. I've got the... Uh, Fuel pressure regulator back in, secured, right? Um, now I was just checking out the quality of Provision Moto's kit. Everything is labeled, everything is here. Um, really good stuff, man. Uh, you guys, if you're not familiar with Revmo, you need to get you need to get on their site. I'll link it down below and um, you really need to check them out. This is good stuff, really good stuff. Lot of chair. I uh, also wanted to showcase everything that's been done so far. Um, I've got to make a parts run. But the uh, bike hoist, this is the apparatus. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little jank, you know? But that's okay. That's okay. It's doing the job. And as little as I use, and my, uh, you know, well, I hope I don't have to use this thing very often. It's, you know, 30 bucks, man. So what I have to do is go to the parts store and uh, in the process of pulling out the, the pump, um, the, uh, this is the low pressure, or sorry, low fuel um, circuit. It was pinched and you could barely detect some um, bare wire. So I'm not gonna deal with that. So I'm gonna run and get a spade connector or just a terminal kit. And this is plenty long, the new wires. This is, what was on there so you can see that's a little bit of an upgrade thanks again revision moto you probably have saved the day all right guys so this is where we're at um, i had to make a quick run to the part store to pick up a spade terminal or a kit you know an assortment and just performed um continuity test on everything we have continuity i got tone on everything so now on to the rest of the build. So, I guess this doesn't need to be here. Hey, this is a good kit. Uh, I'll link to it in the description. I, hopefully I, I remember to do that for you, but I got this on Amazon. Nice little kit. There's probably cheaper ones, but I dig it. It's cool, it worked. I'm just hoping the rest of this goes well, um, especially with this guy right here. This I'm worried about this situation, so. All right, guys. We'll uh, check back in later. 
All right, guys, the final stages. I got all the O-rings replaced. New fuel pump is in. New fuel filter. Trim the fuel lines to fit. Uh, everything is fitting much better and there is no reason for that safety wire to be there. It would appear that whoever did it before must have been concerned that something would fall off. I, I don't know. Um, but I can tell right away, just looking at how I've got it all stacked, that is much tighter configuration than what I pulled out of the bike. The fuel pressure regulator was hanging way over, um, well, I say way over, probably another quarter inch or so. Everything's in there. All the wires are tucked in, so they should not get pinched, I hope. <laughs> Um, I've got the uh, assembly locked in with the circlips on the lowest ring to give as much pressure against that as I can. Um, and it is plenty. That's the new uh, low pressure, or sorry, low fuel sensor. All the uh, worm ring, the uh, clamps are all tucked in as tight as I could get them. Nothing is exposed. Nothing should scratch anything. So when I slide this in, it should be a little easier. I don't think it's gonna be easy. Uh, next thing I gotta do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect the fuel pump wires, do a test run, make sure it buzzes, and then slam some more Vaseline all over the O-rings and probably some up here at the top. Just, I don't know. I don't know why I do that, but heck with it. Um, so, and then uh, tuck this guy in and Hopefully we got a brand new working fuel pump. Yeah. All right guys, well, we're at the last stretch of the race here. Uh, so what I have to do now is I gotta set the um, AFV to 100, it, it's probably jumped way up since um, during testing the pump, after installing it, making sure everything worked. Um, the computer's like, holy crap, there's no fuel, go through the roof, right? I, I don't know. It seems kind of odd to me that that's the situation, but anyways, so that's the plan. We gotta make sure AFE is set to 100. Um, wow. That's a quiet pump. Ha. That's awesome, actually. Much better than it used to be. So I'm connecting to Bluetooth now. I still have to torque the back wheel and the lock nut down um, before I do any riding. So let's see, it did that. Sometimes it just doesn't doesn't connect and I don't know why. I may have to shut the uh, bike off and do it again. And like I said, I don't know if it's the Bluetooth or if it's the phone, don't, don't, don't know. So now I need to go to AFE settings and it, yeah, it jumped up to 104. So let's put it at 100. Hit OK, and then we'll apply the changes. Hit OK, and we have a bur successful burn, so we'll go ahead and disconnect. And I'm gonna shut the uh, key off, and let's start it up. Wash your fingers, everything goes okay. Okay, I heard the pump that time way quieter. video for tonight. Um, 
So I did a TPS reset. I was calling it a TPMS. <laughs> That's on a car. Anyways, um, I did a TPS reset on the bike and um, seems to be doing a lot better. So what I have to do now is just kind of ride it. Um, see if any uh, CELs showed up or show up, any codes. Um, if I get uh, lean error or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'll, uh, I get, so the guy who got me the uh, FPR, um, I may have to beg him to help me out with the tune um, and uh, send him my logs so he can kind of look at them. So anyways, <clears throat> that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, appreciate you guys sticking with me and dealing with my intermittent videos. I'm covered in sweat. It is really muggy out here. So anyways, till next time, guys, peace out. Keep it between the ditches. Mm -hmm.